Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 50 of my King Tiger and Bird Panzer Diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. So, episode 50. That means I've done over 150 hours of building on this bad boy. That's a shit ton of time. Right then, to begin with, let's give those side skirts a coat of primer. I'm using Hammerite's Metal Primer, only cost me 5 quid for 250ml from my local DIY store. Anywho, let's drop the jibber jabber, crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. Once the side skirt's done, we'll leave those to dry. Next we can crack on with painting the projectiles from the rounds. Here I'm using Tamiya's Metallic Grey XF56. So, here we go! There we have the projectiles painted. We left those to dry for a bit to one side. While they were drying, I did a bit of faffing around and handbagging, stuff like attempting to tidy my bench and things like that. Then we came straight back to them once they dried to paint the cartridges arse end. I shoved them in a bit of blue tack and painted them, just like this. We're going to be starting with Tamiya Flat Black XF1 and by the time we've done the last one, the first one should be ready for Vallejo's Gold 71.066. Perfect planning or not? Let's find out. And look at that, the first one's dry, so we can do the gold. Result.
There we go, all done and dry. Now, to mark up the containers, clean the rounds of blue tack using blue tack, then pop them to one side ready for deckling. There we go, they're all cleaned off and ready. Now it's time to get the decals ready. We're going to cut this first lot out, cut them up into individual ones, ready for doing the do. Have I said how much I hate decaling? Oh well, needs doing, so let's get this done. And there we are ready for the first set of decals to go on. I'm only going to show the first few as 20 minutes, that's four hours in real time, of me deckling is just way too boring to put anyone through. So let's get this first lot cracked shall we? There we go, that's the first lot of rounds deckled. Next up, yep, you guessed it, the second lot of decals. So here we go with those. And there we have the whole lot deckled. To be honest, I actually found it really relaxing and I enjoyed it. I was dreading doing this as I knew I would screw at least one up, which considering there were over 150 and I didn't screw any up, I'm really chuffed with the result. So, another thing I thought I disliked, but found I actually like. Bit of a result there. Now to move on to fitting the rounds into their racks. Here we go.
there we have the racks all ready for fitting. Bit of weathering should do the trick. Now we have the racks for the turret. First we need to get them glued in place so here we go. There we have the racks for the turret glued in place, but before I fit the rounds, I need to let them dry. Anywho, as I'm up to date with all my videos, this seems like as good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 50, if you want to see what happens in episode 51, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.